The events that unfolded at the appeal court can be described as a class struggle between those who filed the petition, including Peter Obi, the Labour Party, PDP, Ataku and APM, along with other petitioners, and the common Nigerian citizens who voted for them, pitted against the political elites who believe they hold the power to determine the country's leadership. This essentially amounted to a class war. For those who watched the events live, there was a palpable sense of triumph among the petitioners, and a reprimand directed at those who dared to challenge the status quo. The judges seemed to be ranting, attempting to justify their biases. One perplexing statement from a judge claimed that it was not Tinubu who faced court proceedings, but rather his bank account, implying that the account had engaged in criminal activities. This raised questions about the judge's understanding of the source of the money involved and how it was used. The petitioners have now declared their intention to appeal the judgment to the Supreme Court within the allotted 14 days. This move suggests that when judges make it challenging for litigants to obtain justice through legal means after an election, they may resort to self-help methods in the future, believing they won't receive fair treatment in court. A significant issue raised was the court's refusal to accept INEC's certified true copies, CTCs, of election results which are considered topmost in the hierarchy for proving election outcomes. The petitioners had chosen INEC CTCs because they should be exact replicas of the originals. However, INEC provided them with blank and blurred copies, which the court now unfairly holds against the petitioners. The judges' actions have raised concerns that they have endorsed and validated political criminality making it easier for future elections to be rigged with impunity. Contestants might find themselves needing to allocate resources not for campaigning, but to engage in electoral malpractices. This is a worrying precedent. Additionally, the judge's behavior during the proceedings, particularly the lack of professionalism displayed by some, contrasts with the commendable actions of certain women in the electoral process who have demonstrated integrity and refused to succumb to bribery attempts. The judge's conduct, which appeared be a seed, only further underscored the challenges faced by opposition parties in Nigeria's political landscape. It was suggested that this bias could be traced back to President Buhari's influence as he sought to secure power for his political allies. The system, including the judges, seemed resistant to change, perpetuating the status quo for its benefit. The appeal to the Supreme Court remains a formality, but the concern now lies with whether the Supreme Court will uphold the integrity of the law. It is hoped that the Supreme Court justices will demonstrate fairness and adherence to the rule of law, ensuring that justice prevails regardless of the parties involved. In conclusion, the events at the appeal court reflect a broader issue of political and judicial fairness in Nigeria, with concerns raised about the influence of political elites on the legal system and the need for justice to be upheld without bias. If you are watching our video for the first time, I suggest you subscribe to our channel for more interesting and captivative information. Turn on the bell notification to get alert on all our recent posts so you won't miss out any. Share your thought in the comment section and share these video with family, friends, and concerned Nigerians. Thanks for watching.